Hi, I'm Lena, Khalil's cousin. Hi, I'm Miriam, Khalil's sister. And you might recognize us from being all-star players at Corona. <laughs> Just kidding. I played freshman year. No cuts. I shot on accident. Passed the ball to the wrong team. <laughs> shot in the wrong basket. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That we're very shy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you won't hire me because I have to take care of my child. Well, here's a stat for you. Guess how many injuries the hijab has caused? Zero. Zero. Pass the ball. Ow, Pass the ow, ball. Ow, the piece of cloth. <laughs> okay, enough with the stereotypes. You understand what I'm trying to say about the misconceptions of the hijab. Speaking of the hijab, did you know that FIBA, which is the Federal International Basketball Association, has the rule that prohibits players from wearing headgear because of safety reasons? What this rule ends up doing is not allowing Muslim women, Sikh, and Jewish athletes to continue their professional basketball careers because of their religious headwear. But let's be honest here. When has there been an injury caused by a hijab, which is a piece of fabric? Exactly. Never. And if that's the case, how come players are allowed to wear headbands? This rule clearly discriminates against Muslim women wearing the hijab, not allowing them to continue the sport that they love. Sports should be a right that everybody has and it should not make the athlete change their identity or pick between their faith or sport. I know I'm not the best at basketball, but let's say I actually was good. You're telling me I can't continue my career and my passion just because of my religious views? FIBA, there's only one solution to this problem and it's to get rid of this rule. Just like how FIFA got rid of it and how the military allows women soldiers to wear hijab now. Even Nike is making an athletic hijab from Muslim athletes, so I don't know what other validation you need. I'm pretty sure Nike wouldn't invest in making this product if it really put the athlete's safety at risk. I just want you guys to view me the same as everybody else, just a girl having fun and playing basketball. I don't want you guys to look at me differently or treat me differently just because I'm wearing a hijab. So one last time, FIBA, please allow the hijab. Thank you.